In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a large water body or a steady ocean without using the ocean modifier, it will be done entirely through procedural shaders. So let's start with a simple plane like this, we don't even need any subdivisions. We'll create the water body only for the rendered output, so let's turn on the rendered view mode. Then we need to create a new material. Since we'll set up everything through shader editor, let's split the screen here into two parts and open the shader editor in the lower part. By default, we have a principal BSDF and a material output node. We need to add two more nodes here. First, we need a noise texture. And to use it for the normals, we also need to add a node called bump node. Now, let's connect the FAC output of the noise texture to the bump height. We can reduce the bump strength to say 0.25 and let's do the same for the distance value as well. This will create a random weighty data with a normal component, which we need to connect to the normal input of the principal BSDF. You may not see any immediate change in the material, we need to first make few changes in this BSDF node. Let's reduce this roughness value to 0.2, and we will also increase this transmission value up to 1. This will give us a water-like weighty texture for the target plane. But it seems the waves are too big in size, so we'll change the scale value of this noise texture to say 20. And let's change the levels of its details to 4. Now we are somewhat closer to an actual water body, but we need to bring some animations for these little waves or the bumps. So we'll change the noise texture type from 3D to 4D. This will give us a new field called W, which controls the seat of the noise pattern visible here. And we can easily animate this field, Let's first insert a keyframe for this value. Then go to the end of the animation and change this value to say 1 and we need to add another keyframe. If we now run the animation from the beginning, we'll observe a rapid movement of the waves, which resembles water movement to some extent. But we can make it even better by adding some velocity to this water in a particular direction. So along with the existing nodes, we'll need few more nodes here. Let's add a texture coordinate node or you can also use a UV map here, and we'll need a mapping node to manipulate the coordinates. We have to then connect them like this, to pass the vector coordinates to the noise texture, and since this direction is parallel to the x-axis, we have to animate this x-value, to move the water as it waves. So let's insert a keyframe for the first frame, and then for the last frame, we can change this value to say 0.5, along with another keyframe as usual. Now we are ready to run this and verify, before we go for the next improvement. So it looks quite good, as the water is now flowing from right to left. But this is not perfect yet, because right now, these two values are changing based on Bezier interpolation, and we need to change them to linear type. So select any one of them, and then we need to open the graph editor. Now right-click here, and set the interpolation type to linear. Then select the noise texture node, and set the linear interpolation mode in the same way. Now back to our viewport, we can add some blue tint to the color of the water, to make it look more realistic, but it's up to your choice. So, we will discuss about some more improvements on this, but let us first verify the result, or how it looks in action. When you make this even bigger in size, like a large water body, with a sky in the background, it will appear far more realistic. And it looks better from a low camera angle, as the surface reflections play better. In the next step, if we resize this plane in order to make a large water body, let's say we enlarge it by 10 times, we'll see that it gets distorted, and the waves now look very flat. So the material settings are sensitive to the size, as we change the size of the target plane, we must also change the shader node settings. Let's first increase the scale factor to 40. Then we need to reduce the value of this X offset by a factor of 10. And the same for this W in the noise texture, and we need to replace the keyframes with these new values for both the nodes. Then, let's also increase this distance value to 1. And for this strength value of the bump, we can use another noise texture node, with the default settings, and a map range node like this. It will create a random variation in the strength of the bumps, resulting in a far more realistic water body. The best thing about this method is, you can easily scale up this plane and create a very large ocean, or a lake, just take care of the scale factor of the noise texture and the W field simultaneously, as you enlarge it. And one more improvement you can do if you like, you can change this IOR value, to something closer to 1. So the refraction in the water will be less, it will be like real water. 
And if you add a sky here in the background, it will reflect on this water and create a beautiful scene like this. So we covered how we can create a large water reservoir, or a lake, or an ocean, without the ocean modifier, and I hope you like this tutorial. You can download this blend file if you are a member of this channel, and there are also other benefits for our members. Thanks for watching, see you next week with another such tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.